Hey, what's up, Buck Nation? Buck, you here. <clears throat> Today, I want to do a quick video uh, about something. I love blasts from the past. Uh, but before I do the video, I want to give my deepest condolences to Dwayne Haskins' family. As you know, uh, God called him home. And I just want to give my deepest condolences to his family who, you know, going through a tragic time right now and uh, I hope you guys can grieve in peace recover from this and you can cherish the memories that Mr. Haskins provided to you and again rest in peace Mr. Haskins you will be truly missed so guys I'm off work for the next two weeks um, what do I do right So, to answer that question, my wife must have read my mind because she got me this. Dying Light 2. This is the case it comes in. Um, I haven't played it yet because um, I'm still playing 2K, so I'm going to finish that up. Okay, guys, so we're about 30 people away from my 200 uh, uh, for my giveaway. But before we get to that, guys, I want to talk about something from the past. And that is Super Bowl 37. Our very first Super Bowl that we won against the Oakland Raiders. Me and a co-worker was talking yesterday at work about who should be the, who was the real Super Bowl MVP, Dexter Jackson or Dwight Smith. Now, he says Dwight Smith because he's going off stats. Dwight Smith had two pick sixes. I said Dexter Jackson because he did have two interceptions also, but it was the moments of the game. But before we get into that and detail that, let's go back real quick. Super Bowl 37, Buccaneers against the Oakland Raiders. John Gruden, his old team, going against his new team. Number one offense, number one defense. Rich Gannon was the MVP of the league. Del Brooks was the defensive player of the year at the time. The Raiders had Rich Gannon, Charlie Garner, Jerry Rice, Tim Brown, Charlie Garner. I said Charlie Garner. Jerry Porter. Um, I think they had Charlie Woods on that team, too. You know, obviously, we know our team. You know, I, I, I would name all that, the whole team. But Brad Johnson, Michael Pittman, All-Star, uh, Ken Dilger, Jerry Vicious, McCardell Johnson, uh, Jamel Cook on uh, defense, Ronnie Arms, um, Farland, Simeon Rice, Sapp, uh, Ellis Williams, Rene Ball, Brian Kelly, Dan Brush, Sharon Qualls, John Lynch, Dwight Smith, Dexter Jackson. Okay, we get the point. <clears throat> now, so Dwight, let's, let's go ahead and play it. So, Dwight, so Dexter Jackson and Dwight Smith, you know. Dwight Smith obviously was a nickel back at the time. Then he transitioned to a safety. Then, you know, he went to Minnesota. You know, he became a pro bowler. And Dwight Smith was a thumper. I mean, he 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 was a heat seeking missile. He would hit you. He hurts. <clears throat> so the breakdown. So of course during the first quarter it was just a back and forth game. It was just Nothing exciting. It was just basically running. You know, we, you know, we were doing the hurry up offense, no huddle. We were just trying to get the Raiders off guard, but nothing was going on. It was just three and out, three and outs, a field goal, field goal, three and outs, three and outs. So first quarter, <clears throat> with about twelve seconds left, score tied three three. Rich Gain throws it, first interception, Dexter Jackson. <clears throat> you know, then. Second quarter, about 10 minutes left. Uh, Rich Gannon threw it again to Dexter Jackson in the second quarter with 6 3. And the score 6 3. We are 6 3. Dexter Jackson with second interception. Those were the most turning points of the game. For one, they're demoralizing. Two interceptions before the first half even ends. You know. And. We was just we just took over after that. We just took off running. Dwight Smith interceptions came 
at the 456 mark of the third quarter. The score was already 27-3. I mean, it was over, uh, basically. basically. Dwight Smith got a pick six, made 34-3. Didn't really change that. I mean, it wasn't like, oh, my God, what a momentum shift. Because the game, we already was up by three scores. So then the last one, he's pick six with 10 seconds left. Last play of the game. And sports, I mean, I think Derrick Brooks took one back to the house also before the second Dwight Smith in, um, interception. So fourth quarter, 10 seconds left, 41-21. Dwight Smith, Nell in the coffin, took another pick six to the house. The Dwight Smith interceptions were just empty calories. I mean, they was, I mean, even without those interceptions, they was going to win that game. But he just made Rich Gannon, or the defense made Rich Gannon look vulnerable. And I know, you know, John Gruden, you know, people saying John Gruden sabotaged it and, you know, he gave the plays away. Hey, that's not our fault as a Bucks fan. That's not our fault. Well, that's not our fault. If they thought, if they felt that strongly, they shouldn't have got to the Super Bowl, you know, but... Again, I think Dexter Jackson should have won MVP, should rightfully won MVP, Super Bowl MVP, because he had an impact early instead of late when the game got out of hand. You know, I think people remember Dexter Jackson's two interceptions, then Dwight Smith two pick sixes. But that was just a quick video, guys. I wanted to make. Um, I can't believe, guys, my Julian, my Julian Edelman as a Buccaneer. It's got 1,500 views. And that's not even a real video. That was just an uh, April Fool's Day that Julie Edelman did. And that's crazy, but I don't know. I'll maybe have my little Julie Edelman. I don't know. Thank you guys for watching the video. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm a little off my game. Guys. I'm tired. I'm dead tired. So I will try to make a video for you guys tomorrow. So enjoy.